What do you think it is about this particular period of history and a particularly British spirit at that time which still captures our imagination all these decades later? Films have never been more important than, than during the London Blitz and you're in a city where things where you're under such pressure and such, but you also want to live so much and you see that in these characters that they have a huge appetite for for the work, for the films they're making and for each other uh, and, and that just is a really good cocktail and very, very really good uh, platform to stand on when you start telling this story. Catherine in the film, Gemma Artisan's part, is, is a young girl who's a secretary, she can type 60 words a minute and she comes into the Ministry of Information and little by little, because of the war, she gets to write real feature films, propaganda films, uh, dramatic films and finds out how incredibly enjoyable that job can be. She falls in love, she gets to go to the shoot, she gets to meet a lot of the actors in the film, within the film, and you, with her, you open up this world that is uh, seductive and funny, but also has some very emotional moments to it. Both Sam Claflin and Bill Nye, and, and some of them, Richard E. Grant, Jeremy Irons, Henry Goodman, they are quite fearless. I mean, they, they read the script and they trust that the story is strong enough, so they take chances, and you can see that. You, they get to use their musicality and their funny bone and their um, willingness to sometimes be emotional and dramatic. And, and so you get to see a lot of their range, which is always fascinating. That they, they, these are, uh, the, the characters have so many facets and nuances and, um, and they, yeah, it's been a really, really nice experience with those men and with uh, Gemma too, it's been Rachel Sterling and it's a great cast, it really is. What for you is the true power, the importance of filmmaking as a creative medium? I think you have responsibility. We, we, we know films work. They worked then and we still know they work and that gives you, no matter how small your access to the media is, it gives you a responsibility and you have to do something to live up to it, not just in terms of which values are in your films, but also to make things that are truly entertaining and warm and fun and where you don't um, take the audience for granted and don't uh, take them for uh, someone who is, you know, less well-read or something than yourself is. But that's not very well, but like, there you go, the audience is smarter than I am. <laughs> London Film Festival is definitely the right place to, to show this film because it is about a chapter in London film history and it's also very, very festive to, that the film is celebrated this way and that the mayor is going to be here and I'm really pl proud and, and as soon as I'm over my nerves I'll enjoy every second of it. <laughs>